Oliveira on the wheel of Milan. Milan goes. Milan in the centre. And Ian Lukowski on his wheel. But here comes Jonathan Milan. Pushing for the line. Milan It's going to make it win number three. And the Giro d'Italia and the rest of them were not even close in the end. A masterful display from Jonathan Milan. And a third victory at the Giro d'Italia. The second and final individual time trial of the Giro d'Italia, a rolling 32.1 kilometres with a picture-perfect finish on the banks of Lake Garda. A final opportunity for Filippo Ganna, the Italian national time trial champion, to go one better than he did on the time trial in Perugia. And for the riders at the top end of the general classification, an opportunity to make gains or at least to defend. Alain Rieu was the first rider off from Arkea b and hotels, but it was Josef Czerny, just like he did in Perugia, who set a fast tempo in the opening few riders. Filippo Ganna, then an early departure for him. And as predicted, Filippo Ganna started to set the best times by a handsome distance at the first checkpoint and then out onto the flatter section as Tobias Foss, his teammate, dislodged the new fastest man, Eduardo Affini, at the finish line to take his place on the hot seat, but not for long. His teammate, Filippo Ganna, was getting faster and faster throughout the individual time trial and finishing with a sprint. He didn't just beat Tobias Foss's time, he destroyed it by well over a minute. Filippo Ganna then taking the hot seat by 1 minute and 26 seconds from Tobias Foss. Meanwhile, another Ineos Grenadier was going well through the first checkpoint. But in the final third, overcooking a corner, Magnus Sheffield hit the deck and that cost him bad. Magnus Sheffield, in the end, only good enough for seventh place. A very, very good ride for Sheffield, but undone with that crash. Timur Ahrensman, another Ineos Grenadier, on the road, out of the start house and starting to set good times as we moved into the podium riders of the Giro d'Italia. Geraint Thomas, Danny Martinez, and then finally, Tadej Pogacar, the last rider off. Straight into an aero tuck. Meanwhile, fifth placed rider in the general classification, Ben O'Connor, was going well ahead. And Geraint Thomas too, was setting a decent time. Just 11 seconds down on Filippo Ganna through the first checkpoint. Tadej Pogacar on the small climbs and the twists and turns of the opening few kilometers going well. Timon Ahrensman moved into second place at the finish line and Pogaccia was going faster than Filippo Ganna by four seconds through the first checkpoint. Antonio Tiberi was having a good time trial. But Filippo Ganna watching on nervously in the hot seat as Tadej Pogaccia began to lose time. Ten seconds down on the second checkpoint, Ben O'Connor doing a good ride to consolidate his fourth place on GC. Geraint Thomas going over the line one minute and 14 seconds down in provisional third place. Better though by about 30 seconds than Danny Martinez and moving the Welshman up into second place on GC. Tadej Pogacar then unable to match Filippo Ganna's time in the final half of the time trial. Victory to Ganna, second place to Tadej Pogacar, but he was the best of the GC riders. It's been quite a long wait since 2021 for Filippo Ganna to take a stage at the Giro d'Italia, but he has done it as Italian national champion on the banks of Lake Garda. The winner, ahead of Tadej Pogacar, who continues to control the Giro, extending his lead in the general classification now to 3.41 ahead of Thomas. No change in the Malia Ciclamino at the top, still with a handsome margin of 120 points over Caden Groves. Jonathan Milan sits pretty. No King of the Mountains points on offer today, so no change in the top 10 of the KOM competition. But Antonio Tiberi now has a new rival for the white jersey and that is Timon Ahrensman who moves up to second place in the Malia Bianca. <laughs>